In today's video, we're going to do an efficiency test between the 19-inch wheels with the aero covers installed and without the aero covers installed. Now, I'm currently heading out to the start of the area of interstate we're going to do the testing on. This is pretty flat interstate. We're going to do three miles out and three miles back. Um, that should account for any headwind and tailwind, although there's only about a three mile an hour wind right now. And we're going to run 75 miles an hour, cruise control on, and I will reset the trip meter at a specified location at speed on the interstate. Um, that way we're not accounting for any acceleration or deceleration getting on and off the interstate. And I'm just going to see what is the efficiency going out and coming back without the aero covers on. And then we'll do the exact same thing, pop the aero covers on and see is there a noticeable difference. Speed wise I'm going to run 75 miles an hour, that's a pretty typical speed for this interstate. So we just reset trip A at my specified marker. I'm basically using a line on the uh, interstate pavement right where the merge lane ends. And I just reset it and we're at 75 miles per hour. Uh, HVAC is turned off, all heated seats are turned off, um, radio is turned off, so there's no power draw other than the car driving forwards right now. And that should be about as much of a control as I can get it. We're trying to just see, you know, the exact amount of energy used to propel the car forwards and just see if these aero covers make a difference. I think they do, but I don't know how much. So we just got off the interstate. I took a look at the trip meter right at the marker just before getting off the interstate that I'm using. And we were at 315 watt hours per mile on the outbound first leg. And that is without any aero cover. So now we're gonna head back the exact opposite direction, three miles the other way, and we will see uh, what that looks like. And we're now heading back the opposite direction, heading actually, heading eastbound, as you can see with the sun in my face. Um, we're gonna go here three miles eastbound, and then I'll let you know what the efficiency looks like for this reverse leg. And here we go, approaching my end marker, and we are at 308, so it's gonna be 308 watt hours per mile heading eastbound on the first leg. And here's the aero cover. It's just a plastic cover. Line up the uh, valve stem here and it literally just snaps right on. Uh, very simple to remove and install. Does make a pretty loud sound, but there we have it. Covers are installed on both sides and now we're gonna go ahead and do basically the exact same route we just did exact same mileage, exact same speed, and see if the efficiency is any different. Okay, and this is our first westbound trip with the aero covers installed. Uh, all the same conditions as before, 75 miles per hour, no radio, no HVAC, and we're gonna see here what we get uh, efficiency-wise. And we are coming up on the end of our westbound run with aero covers on, and the mark is gonna be 308, so 308 watt hours per mile with aero covers on. I believe the first westbound run without aero covers was 315, so there is a difference there. All right, here we go. We are at 75 miles an hour heading eastbound, aero covers installed, and let's see what kind of efficiency we get here. All right, and we are coming up at the uh, end point here, and we are definitely less, uh, less energy usage. We are at 295, I think it's gonna be 290, 294 now. Um, and it is Mark 294 watt hours per mile. So a uh, noticeable decrease. All right, so back at home now, and I put the numbers in a simple spreadsheet here just to get a better idea of the results. Um, we can see here that without the aero covers installed, which is how I originally ran, we averaged around 311 watt hours per mile, looking at both the westbound and eastbound directions. However, once we put the aero covers on the car, um, that average dropped to 301 watt hours per mile. Um, so that's a gain when I was just going westbound of about 2.2% and eastbound of 4.5%. And I think east was a little higher just because there, the wind that day actually was coming slightly out of the southeast. So regardless, that's an average gain overall of about 3.4%. Now, while this isn't a huge number, over the course of a really long road trip, 500,000 mile road trip, you're looking at some you know, significant battery range increase just by using those wheel covers. And of course, if you leave them on the entire time you own the car over tens of thousands of miles, you know, you're just gonna gain more and more and more. So um, my recommendation is that uh, leave them on if you do a lot of highway trips or a lot of interstate driving, because there is a difference. Um, at slower speeds in the city, probably not that much of a difference. You could probably just go either way, so. That about wraps it up. Thanks for watching.